Hi guys. Hi guys, Mr. B here, and today we're going to be looking at multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000, okay? Now I'm going to jump straight into it. We've got a number here, 34, and we're going to look at times by 10, 100, and 1,000. Now, a rule a lot of people think, which is in a way true, is if we times them by 10, we can add 1, 0. If we times them by 100, we can add 2 zeros. And if we're times in by 1,000, we can add three zeros, okay? Now that's not technically right. We can add one zero if it is a whole number. We can add two zeros if it's a whole number, and we can add three zeros if it's a whole number, okay? So it means 34 times 10 would be 340, 34 times 100 would be 3,400, and 34 times 1,000 would be 34,000, okay? So we can only add them zeros if it's a whole number. Okay, now to remember how many zeros to add, it's easy. Let's look at the number. 10 has one zero, so we add one zero. 100, two, so we add two. And 1,000, three, so we add three. Easy little reminder for us, okay? Now I'm going to show you what you're actually doing, and I'll show you why after, okay? So you're not actually just adding a zero. What you're doing is you're moving your numbers to the left up one in place value. So three tens gets ten times bigger and becomes 100. Four units becomes tens times bigger and becomes tens. When we're on a hundred, we're moving them up two place uh, to the left and place value. So our three gets a hundred times bigger, becomes three thousand. Our thirty, sorry, and our four comes a hundred times bigger and becomes four hundred. And we have to fill in the spaces with zeros. That's why some people think we just add the zeros. With the uh, thousand, we're making the numbers a thousand times bigger. So thirty becomes at 30,000, and 4 becomes 4,000, and we fill in the zeros, in the spaces, sorry, with zeros. That is what we're actually doing, and I'm going to show you why that's important to remember. Okay, so here is why it is important that we know we don't just add a zero. Here, we're going to look at the number 3.4, so it's not a whole number. If I just add a zero to 3.4, times times by 10, I get 3.40. That is the same number okay and we know a number times by 10 isn't going to be the same number so i'll show you with when we're moving one place up in our place value how it works okay so we've got our 3.4 there times it by 10 we're making this 3 10 times bigger bigger becomes a 30. we're making our tenths 10 times bigger becomes 4. okay because this is after the point we don't have to put a zero there because 34.0 is the same as 34. so that's 34. Okay, I haven't just added a zero one. Okay, it's moved up one place. Now, if we're moving up two places, making the number 100 times bigger, okay, we can see that becomes a 300. That would go one, two, become a 10. And we'd have to fill that because it's after our decimal place. So that would become 340. And lastly, do exactly the same with our 1,000. Okay, we'd move that up 1,000 times bigger, three places. And our four up three places become a thousand times bigger. Okay, so our answer will be three thousand four hundred. Okay, and the same with any decimal, you would move it up. What I do say, remember when you're doing your decimals, okay, what some people get mixed up is they look at it, they get confused, and they move numbers around. Your numbers will always be in the same order. So three and the four are always going to be next to each other, no matter how many times bigger they get. Okay, hope that's helped. Uh, if you do need any more help, put a comment down there or send a message on Facebook or Twitter. Give it a like if it has helped you and share it if you know anyone else that this could help. Okay, until I see you next time, bye.